How's it going folks? Rob here. I pulled a small silver perch out of the aquaponics yesterday. He just wasn't looking too crash hot, so I thought it was a good idea to pull him out and investigate what was going on. Um, what piqued my attention was the fact that he was just pretty much all standing still in the water as he was swimming. The other fish were just doing laps around him, um, and he yeah, definitely wasn't holding his own. Also too, he was really small. Um, I think he was pretty much all the smallest fish in the tank. Uh, we've got some that are a good almost, I'd say they're approaching 500 grams just over a pound um, and this little fella he was you know probably about a half to a third their size uh, when I got him in the net the first thing I noticed was he was missing most of his fin now instantly I thought the worst I thought I've got some sort of a bacterial infection in the tank the other thing that crossed my mind is that it could have been bullying maybe some other fish had come in and had a bit of a nibble at his tail so I decided to whip out the smartphone um, do a little bit of a film on him just as a, as a reference point for me and then I fed him to the chooks after I tossed him in the pen a couple of minutes later I realized it probably wasn't the best thing to do I should probably grab the decent camera this one I'm filming on and have a, a better look at his um, little carcass so uh, I rescued him from the chicken pen luckily the chickens were more into mangoes and fish yesterday and gave him a bit of a hose off and managed to get a decent little bit of footage of how he looked um, there were a few scales missing uh, where the chooks had a bit of a peck at his tail but other than that yeah he came out looking pretty good from the chook pen so his fins look fine his dorsal fin um, there was no signs of infection um, um, no lesions, no little blood blisters, anything like that. It was just the tail fin. And even the tail didn't look like it had any lesions on it, any scarring, any damage caused by any bullying. I decided to go up to the house um, and hit up a couple of people who knew a lot more than me. I've owned, this is the first batch of silver perch we've had through the system. Scotty from Backyard Aquaponics actually um, let me know that I posted my, uh, an answer to my own question in a little PDF link that I included in the post. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to um, those pages and that PDF link. Um, there's a section in there on abnormalities that I just skipped over, uh, or physical defects. I just skipped over looking for the worst, looking for bacterial and fungal and that sort of thing. Um, and in this little section on physical deformities, it mentions paintbrush tail, which is a, a, a genetic condition that silver perch can get. So. The, looking at that, um, I had a bit of a search online, very, very little information about it. I think it only came up on two other sites that I did a search on, and all relating to silver perch, not other species, by the way. Um, they, they didn't really show a good enough picture for me to say, well, that's definitely it. But just looking at the condition of the tail, the lack of abrasions and scarring, um, also, too, the, the general health of the rest of the fish, I'm pretty much well sold on the idea that it's a genetic abnormality. The other thing that um, also has me leaning towards that decision is um, at the back of his um, spine, just before the tail, there's a slight dip in his scale line. It looks like there's a slight kink to his tail and we've actually seen it in a few other fish that we bought in the same lot. Uh, the jade perch, I've got two in there. One definitely had a twist in the, in the tail, a very similar condition. And another jade perch, um, yeah, he had had a very deformed jaw, still lived as well as the other fish, um, he still ate, um, he just didn't grow as big, obviously he probably couldn't eat as fast as the others. So there are some physical defects that you do obviously get when you buy um, hatch, hatchery fish. Um, I'm not blaming the hatchery at all by the way for this. So long story short, I do think that it, this little fella had a genetic defect, um, didn't have any fungal or um, any other bacterial diseases. I did take the camera over yesterday using my Pyrex bowl as a trick I've used before in the other IBC system, trying to get a decent shot of the fish down the bottom of the tank, but the lighting in there is just so poor or you can see it fuzzy blobs. I did spend a lot of time yesterday afternoon and also this morning um, standing over the top of the tank trying to entice them up to um, feed and I didn't see any other fish with any similar abnormalities. Um, they're all swimming fine, none of them are going slower than the rest. Uh, also too, the jade perch, I mean, they all look fine, they're all feeding fine. Um, we have had some warmer tank temperatures over the last couple of days, um, which also you know, had me a little bit worried. I ended up putting an air stone in both tanks. We had the water temperature up to 31 degrees Celsius, which is around about 88 Fahrenheit. Um, Jade perch um, didn't bother them at all, being from a warmer area, but the silver perch, they did look uh, slightly affected. They were swimming halfway up in the water column, which 
made it a lot easier for me to um, find this little fella. So I hope this vlog has helped you folks out that have a similar problem with your silver perch, uh, but by no means just leave it at this clip. Um, search or look at the information, the links that I put below from the New South Wales DPI, um, get in contact with your own DPI. Uh, another source of information is the hatchery you bought your fish from. Um, don't ring them over every little question you have, but you know, if you've got a fish disease, they may be able to help you out. Um, it's something that you just don't, you know, write off, oh, that's what Rob had, that's what I've got. Um, definitely investigate further. Uh, also, too, if anyone has any further information on the paintbrush tail, um, if you could put links in the comment section below, along with any other questions or comments, I really would appreciate it, because, like I said, there wasn't a lot that I could find online. So there's a couple of playlists I'll just pop up there, and if you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button, and you can check a little box when you do, and you will get an email every time we post a clip to YouTube on our small little backyard farm, and you can come along and suss out what's going on. Um, I hope this clip has helped folks out if you do have a similar issue um, to what I've had with this little fella, and for everyone else, I hope you've enjoyed the clip, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers, folks. A twist in the, st in the tail, a very similar condition, and another jade perch. Um, yeah, he had a very deformed jaw, still lived as well as the other fish. Um, he's